Let's join our crew in the field now as they hold a tailgate to plan the job. This crew has been assigned to build a 13-2 KV three-phase line that will parallel and temporarily replace another line. As you know that this, you know this circuit in here is a 13-2 circuit, but it's insulated for 34-5. Uh, there's going to be some construction work done in this area, and this part of the line is going to have to be removed. This is going to be the bypass. Uh, in this bypass, we're going to set three poles and add to or reconstruct uh, portions of three other poles. There's a lateral line that runs across here that's normally fed from this pole here. And what we're going to have to do is feed it from the new line. It will remain energized. It will not come out. And this line over here is what will be removed. There's actually only three spans to be removed. They decide to break the job into four basic tasks. And although the order of the tasks may vary from job to job, the basic procedures remain the same. The tasks are installing the new line, energizing and phasing in the new line, changing the feed of the lateral line, and removing the conductors of the existing line. Let's look at the first task, installing the new line in more detail. This is a simplified illustration of the construction print. The highlighted area represents the new line that will be installed. In order to install it, three new poles need to be set. They are poles 11, 12, and 13. In addition, the three existing poles numbered 8, 9, and 5 will need to be reconstructed. And in this example, because of guying problems, there will be slack spans running between poles 8 and 11 and poles 13 and 5. Then the three phases and neutral on pole 9 will be lowered to make room for a new circuit to be installed above it.